Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Dubcast podcast. Uh, this week is Masters Edition, and to celebrate, we are welcome on, welcoming on the Parlay Safari, uh, one of the elite golf handicappers in the gambling Twitter space. Uh, he cashed Rom plus 950 outright last year and is ready for another winner. Uh, since 2021, the man is plus 155 units in PGA Tour specifically. He's a beast. Simple as that. Parlay, welcome on, brother. Das, what's going on, brother? Happy uh, Happy Masters Week. Super exciting. It's one of everyone's favorite golf tournaments every year. Even guys who aren't big golf fans, they are tuning in this week to watch. So it's super exciting. Yeah, they're coming out of the woodworks right and left. I'm hearing people that I didn't even know knew what golf was uh, talking <laughs> about. So, um, hey, I'm excited to jump in. I know you got a couple uh, outright winners for us, some props. Would love to talk through kind of player profiles and, and what type of attributes it takes in somebody's game to be a winner here. Yeah. Um, and I know that, that you know what it takes because you targeted Ron last year and um, hit him outright. So let's try, dive right in. Yeah, so I have three outrights this year, um, three, three guys I do love, but this course is very interesting. So it has a few third f- fewest bunkers on all the tour. It's the seventh longest course um, on the tour with the widest fairway. So kind of a bomber's paradise. Um, you don't have to be great on the greens. Even though those short wedge games can give you guys issues, you don't got to be a great putter. 14 of the last 16 winners have been outside of the top 30 in strokes game putting the last 16 years, which is pretty crazy. So you don't need a top putter like that. You want to score on the par fives. The par four scoring average is 4.18, which is above par. And the par three average is 3.11. You got to score on the par fives. You got to get a guy who can score on the par fives. So this year, Xander Shoffley, 14 to one. He is yet to win in a major. Can he break through? Most people, I would say now, are pretty sick of Xander Shoffley. I'm in. Par five scoring, course history, current form. Strokes gained, T to green. He hits every single metric that you could possibly even look for. And you know how well he does in the majors? He just cannot finish. Give me Xander this year to finish 14 to 1. Love that. Some redemption from his T2 back in 2019. Uh, I, I couldn't agree with you more there. I feel like he's always in the mix. I think it's his year to close. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I do love him this week. I also like a guy who's won here before, and that is Hideki Matsuyama at 20-1. to 1, Probably the best wedged player on tour. He's top 10 in par 5 scoring. Current form is great. Um, 12 of the last 12 winners uh, have gained 18 or more strokes in the last four events. He's up there. I love him this week at 20-1 to 1, um, to repeat a couple, for a few years ago. Yeah, former winner. Former He's winner. Got what it takes. That's beautiful. Okay, those are two phenomenal uh two phenomenal targets right there anybody else that uh that you got your eyes on in the last one most people are not gonna like this one um i don't even like this one but he fits what i look for at this tournament and it's tony finau at 40 to 1 great ball striker what is his issue the dude cannot putt but like i said earlier 14 last 16 winners were outside of that top 30 in strokes game putting coming into the tournament you don't kind of putt here. You got to be a bomber. Finau fits basically every system, every trend that you look for here. I'm going to back him. He might be plus four after the first day. I got to I gotta back my boy Tony at 40 to one. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I'm, I'm throwing on all three of those. I, I love the Tony call. I mean, I remember, what was that, probably three years ago, part three contest, hole in one, oh, yeah. celebrating, running backwards, snaps his ankle in half, and, and was still in the mix even that year. Yeah, he hasn't been the same since then. So maybe that was a big, a big turn in his career. But I like him this week at 40 to 1. I think it's a great number with him being kind of undervalued, um, not winning in a while. I think this is, I think he'll be top 10 going into the last day. Love that. Any of those in particular that you will be playing top 10 finish, top 20 finish, or are we just playing those uh, as, as outrights? Yeah, those guys are my outrights. Um, I think they're all probably in the top 10. Um, late, um, I, I'm playing some other guys like Corey Connors, Siwoo Kim, top 30 guys. Um, top 40, I do like Nick Dunlap at plus 150. Kind of a newer guy on tour, as we know. Um, but he is a par 5 monster. And if he can give me two, three birdies around on the par 5s, he's probably going to end up in the top 40. Um, so he's, he's plus 150 for the top 40, Nick Dunlap. Hell yeah. Let's go. 
any other uh, props or top 10, top 20, top 40 finishers that, that you yeah. have your eyes on? So I'm actually targeting some make and miss the cut props. The, the, those are kind of my favorite. Fading some guys that I don't like and don't see that they fit here and backing some lesser name guys that I think are great numbers to make the cut here. So I'll start off with my smaller one to miss the cut is Nikolai Hojgaard. Um, he's minus 110 on DraftKings to miss the cut. He's a guy who I matched with Steven Yeager earlier in the year, and I said, one of these guys are going to win. They are premier younger players on tour that are going to win soon. Steven Yeager won. I was wrong about him, uh, about Hojgaard. His around the green game is horrific, and you don't got to be great putting the ball here. But if you're around those greens, it's tough, man. I just do not see him putting a, a well round together. And he is normally a guy who has higher odds. He's really down the board this year. I think he really struggles, especially around the greens. Nikolai Hojgaard, minus 110 to miss the cuts for one unit. Phenomenal. Good call on Jaeger. You called that yeah, just a couple weeks ago we saw him win. He was coming. He was coming. I unfortunately missed him that week. Um, killed me. But, um, <laughs> yeah, he, he was so due for a win. He just, he's, he, he's been playing some great golf lately. Um, but now, on to my make the cut, my favorite prop of the tournament. A guy that not many people know of, especially if you don't watch a ton of golf, and that is Austin Eckroats. Minus 125 to make the cut. So, approach game. Absolutely awesome top five or top 40 in par five scoring 12 of the last 12 winners have gained 18 or more strokes coming into the tournament in their last four events that's guys like rory xander uh hideki all the top guys who's that one guy in there that no one knows that's austin ekro he's been playing some great golf great great on par fives he will make the cut this week minus 125 for two units that is tremendous i uh that's another guy. I'm looking here at DraftKings. Um, I'm seeing his odds for a top 10 finish uh, at plus 1,200. Is that something that you think about being worth a little sprinkle there? It seems a little tempting if he's in in that you know elite group with Rory, Xander, all guys that have either won or, or, or finished in the top five, top 10. Yeah, so back to this part five. Uh, the last three winners, 91% of their scoring in their wins were from par fives. That is insane. If you can just score on these par fives and you just play par bogey golf the rest of the way, you're going to be in the mix at the end. And this is a guy who can score on par fives in great form. He is great tee to green as of late, especially. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, but I think getting yeah. him to make the kind of minus 125 is great value. I think for his current form, he should be minus 200 or higher. Got it. Roger that. Uh, well, hey, let's transition over to the GOAT, uh, who will be making an appearance this weekend, Tiger Woods. Uh, I'm seeing some interesting props out there, and I'm, I'm just curious to hear your take. One, I'm seeing plus 110 to even make the cut. Um, I'm seeing bogey-free round at plus 1,200. Just some interesting potential spots to target. How do you think Tiger will fare this week? Yeah, he's a guy who, at this point, I want to sit back on the couch and I want to watch him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have any financial edge on him, just based on his age, his form, all those factors that are going in. And he's a guy who's changed golf you know, forever, a guy who got most people probably into golf to begin with. He is someone I would not say you go and bet on this week. Um, I think he will be in the mix uh, to make the cut right around that number. Uh, but there's really no value on either side. He's a guy you want to sit back, star him on your on, on your favorites list on the app, and hope he has a great round. I love that. It's like the uh... – <laughs> you, you said it best yourself. He's somebody that you just want to sit back and watch and that you, you don't want to be uh, – ha have any money on the line. So, um, well, hey, man. You have a little pup to tend to. Uh, everybody go throw this guy a follow, plus 155 units on the PGA Tour, just the PGA Tour since 2021, outright winner last year. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he hit another this year. So, Parley Safari, thank you very much, brother. Dash, thank you, man. Let's get a winner. Xander Hideki and Tony Finau. Let's do it. Love it.